Every astrophotographer is going to see clouds. I just didn't expect to see them so soon. October 19, 2019. That was the day that I got my telescope in the mail. The forecast for that week said no clouds and no precipitation. That all changed. Sadly, this experience isn't new. This phenomenon where astrophotographers and even visual astronomers experience bad weather immediately after receiving new telescopes has been around for a while. First, I just, I just brushed it off. I thought maybe it was a coincidence. I don't know. But as I looked more into it, I realized that many people are all experiencing the same thing. And that's when I really started to have questions. This conspiracy goes way deeper than most people think. Controlling the astro market? I mean, think about it. You've got people who are willing to drop car payments to buy new telescopes. That's a motivated clientele. At the time of the incident, we didn't have the technology that we have today that would have helped us make those connections. If you've been in these inner circles as long as I have, yeah, you're gonna see it a lot. Tokyo, Paris, New York, London. I've seen it everywhere. And every time, it's the same message. My new telescope arrived, sorry in advance for the cloud. Some people believe this is a code that secret ancient astronomy societies used to communicate and still use today. Galileo, Newton, Messier. We believe all these individuals experience this phenomenon. I just wanted to have one good imaging session. I can't, I can't do this. The bad weather continues to puzzle scientists and local officials are concerned. I did lose a lot of sleep over this case quite honestly, because of how late astrophotographers stay up. Follow the money. Where does it go? Who stands to benefit from this? Big telescope? In all my years of service, I've never seen anything like this, mainly because of how ridiculous this case was. What about shipping? I mean, are they in it too? Think about it, having the power to control all those deliveries, clear skies, it's really a misnomer because oftentimes they're not. I just hope I never have to go through this again. And I wouldn't wish it on anyone, even the worst enemies. It doesn't matter who you are, where you live, or what telescope you're buying. No one is safe.